Yo, what is up my neighbors? And welcome back to this new video. We are going to be talking about what happened yesterday at one of my assemblies. So it was actually quite interesting what he was talking about. And uh, it has a lot of flaws, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you about this guy. This guy is a 16 year old. I believe he's Native American. He has long hair and he raps and he like, you know, he raps about environmental issues. I'll give him props or props due. He's an okay rapper. He has a decent voice. He, he pretty much raps kind of like Eminem, you know, fast talk, uh, shit like that. The whole idea from this assembly we had was about climate change slash global warming. I'm going to give you the three main points that came from this, I guess you could say, lecture. It was about an hour long, and I didn't get to ask one of my questions or get to debate him. So let's get into this. So to start off with this, he rapped a song and he just had a slideshow. No, nothing really that big about it. And the thing that I find quite interesting that he said is that global warming is not, it's, it's an inappropriate term to describe what's happening to the planet right now. The proper term to describe what's happening because, you know, fossil fuels and all this pollution and stuff, it's, it's better to refer to it as climate change because, you know, in some places it's getting warmer and in some places it's getting colder. And so I agreed with that. I'm like, oh, okay, that's nice. He didn't say that global warming, the entire planet's warming up, and you know, and he was, you know, not everyone believes that. And I'll get to, uh, he actually made a point about that, but I'll get to that at the end of the video. So that was just the first point about how climate change is an appropriate way to um, address what's happening to the planet right now. Okay, now let's talk about the second point. And the second point is quite a, uh, it has a lot of flaws. Let's say his ideology has a lot of flaws, okay? So when it comes down to it, I'm just going to literally say what he said, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it down really fast. If you eat meat, you contribute to the downfall and death of our planet. That might be a lot to take in, but his explanation for that is if you eat meat, they have to cut down the forest to make the pastures for those cows. And to get that meat around, they have to use cars, therefore creating more pollution. And by cutting down those trees, they have to use machinery, you know, like chainsaws. Of course, they don't cut down with axes. This this is not freaking Africa. By the way, that's a joke. That's a joke. And by you eating meat, you are giving money to these people to continue what they're doing, cutting down forests, making bigger pastures, and transporting meat, therefore creating more pollution. And to some liberals, that might sound right, but to anyone who sounds somewhat sensical and has an actual thought process and actually can think about this bullshit it is completely flawed this guy and i'm pretty sure he's vegetarian and after he little after he said you know by you need to watch the food you eat because you can ruin the environment a, a girl from a different school raised her hand and asked the question how am i contributing uh, to the downfall of a planet by eating meat. And, you know, that, that was his response to it. And that's the problem why it's so flawed. If you're vegan and you're a vegetarian, how is it different? How how do you get your food around? What, do people just walk walk around with food in baskets uh, attached to a stick and the stick's on their back and they just walk for a few, few miles? No. That is third world countries, my dude. This is America and we use something called machinery. So, the problem is is that obviously by that argument and response and idea it is completely flawed and if you eat meat you're gonna kill the planet watch what you're doing folks okay i'm gonna go ahead and talk about this third point he was talking about he was telling us about over he went to australia to speak and how a lot of people do not believe in global warming or like climate change and i don't know about this i don't i don't know any of, if any of that's true but i'm just gonna take his word for it i guess and so by taking his word um i also have a little bit i'm gonna point out his hypocrisy there and he also talked about how climate change over there has to do with race yes Climate change is racist. He went to Australia and he looked in the, I guess, the worst areas of Australia. And I guess all these, you know, people who were colored were living in these, I guess, bad areas where climate, where Australia, where climate change was going bad. Like it was warming. It was like getting really warm and it's really hot and so hot. I can't remember. I can't remember exactly what he said. But that's pretty much the gist, that climate change is racist or it has to do with race. Look at Africa then, bro. Fucking people in Africa, they must be hella racist. Because look how fucking hot it is over there. Bro, it's scorching hot. God, dude, I just thought of something. God must be racist because he put black people in the hottest area. No, that's absurd. And that was all the three points. And my input on this, 
is going to go ahead and point out his hypocrisy. He was talking about how you need to watch the food you eat because it will contribute to the downfall of our planet. But think of it. How did you get to Australia? How the hell did you get to our school? I just thought of this, but actually one of my Native American friends actually said he just swam there, dude. It's fucking retarded. And I just, I just sat there and thought about it. And I, I was, you know, I was making jokes about him the entire time because I'm a conservative. And I'm 150% sure that he is a goddamn liberal. And one of those SJWs as well. And he was talking about how he went to rallies and protests. And all these people who were there caring about the environment were all these white people. It was majority white people. And I can't exactly what he, I can remember what he went out from there, but you know, he just said all oh, much white people. Obviously just bringing race into it. Doesn't matter, doesn't really matter. Also another thing he mentioned, how, how a lot of the people who are joining, I guess you could say the bandwagon or the train on to help the environment waited until it affected them. And it's not, it is time, it's your time now to act upon it. Which you know, people have jobs, lives, ahead of them and you really cannot fight the goddamn oil industry the goddamn fossil fuel industry and so he's like a young 16 year old activist great we got honestly i'm excited i can see more um sjw's get their feelings hurt uh compilation number 52 there's more because after he responded to that girl it, like the assembly ended after that and i was I was just about to raise my hand, and then somebody said, Oh, guys, it's lunchtime. Assembly's over. And I was so upset. I just kept on talking about it and talking about it. And I, I really wanted to ask him and debate him because I 100% would have won. I'm not just saying, it's, Oh, because, you know, all liberals are stupid. No, because his ideology was flawed and broken. I wanted to ask him, How did you get to Australia? And how did you get to our school? And I just, we were just making jokes, and I could just have imagined... I got to your school in an electric car. I also went to Australia in an electric boat. It just simply didn't happen. Come on. He rode in an airplane. He polluted the planet. He contributed. He gave money. These people will use make more airplanes. Those airplanes will have more fuel. They will ha then they will start making bigger airplanes. It will contain more fuel, more people. And then it would start more pollution. But that's pretty much all for this video, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike, comment your opinion. Just tell me what I can do better. Uh, I will be just uploading these types of video commentaries on these um, social issues and things like that. If you eat meat, you are killing our planet. And if you drive in a car, you are killing our planet. If you eat food in general, you are killing our planet. If you drink water, you are killing our planet because they had to mine the metals to make that factory that makes water. You are killing our planet. If you lose it, if you use electricity, you are killing our planet because they had to mine the metals to get that factory made. Oh, and if you have a job, you're promoting that company to use the electricity that is used that got the electricity that the machinery for that electricity was mined. And to mine that materials, they had to use Machinery. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. <laughs> Your boy B is out.